live off each other, so group right there. Yeah, and it was tight, kind of a tight game at that point, so huge for you guys too, right? Just to kind of make yeah. sure that you guys get out of your yeah, ass. Nice definitely got our momentum going and uh, helped build on our confidence too also. Talk a little bit about your hot start at the plate this season. Uh, is there anything you've done differently leading up to the season to kind of help out with that? Or? Yeah, I just uh, been more confident. That's been helping me, and uh, been having a consistent routine at the plate. So it's been really. I didn't have that last year, so it's been working this year. So talk a little bit about the Big 12 Player of the Week honor. Uh, have that. It was, you know, it was good, but you know, always got to move on. Just look forward. So. Absolutely. Looking forward. We got a couple. We got a couple of nice hits, and uh, we got the job done. We got a couple bunts down, and we moved runner. So, I mean, that's gonna hurt you. Talk about that big fly in the first inning. Uh, how'd that feel for you? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I hit it well. Honestly, everyone was confused. The umpire didn't know what to call. I, I didn't know what happened. Richie just told me stay on second, and then just spread. But uh, finally, they called it a home run. So, I mean, it felt good though. Definitely a pretty solid day at the plate. What's it feel like when you get into the heart of a big inning, like the fifth inning, and as a team you're you bat it around? Is it kind of tough to stay focused in a long inning like that? Or? No, I mean it feels good, especially um, a game like this. You you want to keep putting up runs so you could get the younger guys in, and we were able to do that today, which was good. So I mean everybody got a chance to play today, which was our plan, and that worked out great. You're it was also good to see uh, Tanner pitch again, and he pitched well, which was good to see him back on the mound. Talk a little bit about your pitching staff to this point. Here. Pretty. Consistently here in this last stretch of games, keeping you guys in the yeah, game. Yeah, I mean we have three great starters on the weekend, and then I mean uh, Tanner's been obviously not uh, pitching the last two weeks, but like I said, it was great to have him back. So we're hopefully he'll be back in the rotation. I think that's one of the things this club's done a good job of so far. They've done a really nice job of on base percentage and working counts and and taking walks when they're there. And, Obviously, if somebody sets a table for you, then you got to take advantage of it. And we had some really good, some some good at bats after the table got set. Eight run inning. I mean, that really blows open the game for you guys and puts you in control. Um, and then your, your pitchers kind of take care of everything else. Tell me about. I think five guys out there and combined for a shutout. What do you what do you like out of your, your pitchers? Well, you know what I was the most exciting thing to me that happened was Tanner Poppy being on the mound. You know, after missing two straight starts with a sore shoulder. And, and to look up there and see his radar gun reading at 91, 93, I felt really good about his performance because obviously it showed that he's completely healthy and over the inflammation that he had, number one. And then the second thing was I think any time you coach, when you get an opportunity to play your entire team, it's it's a really great day for you. It's literally like one of the second time it's happened all year. We've had a big enough lead where all the guys get up to the pitch and haven't pitched very much, and I'm able to clear the bench, and the only guys that didn't play are the guys that are hurt. Talk a little bit about Michael Suter's hot start. Is there anything you've noticed different about him this year? Well, I think he's got a little Matt Beatty in him. You know, it's like every time he hits a flare somewhere, it's falling, and he gets like three, uh, three, three, uh, three C and I base hits again a day. You know, so I guess when you're hot, you're hot. And my boy Matt Beatty was that same kind of player, and then he'd smoke a ball up the gap and win a big game for us. But you know, I'm really obviously thrilled with uh, Suter's development as a player. I mean, he went through a really tough stretch last year as a freshman. At one time, he was 0 for 30 during the season, and he really turned as a season around the month of May, and you could see the development taking place, and it's carried over into this year. Right now, he's playing at a really high level.